Well, the parade turned out to be pretty good this year at uh, the Harvest Festival in Cresco. Uh, that's Little Miss Cresco's, they're the candidates, uh, and that's uh, Merlin Bartz and Mary Jo Wilhelm running against one another. And you have to have a tractor in a parade in Iowa. This report brought to you by Fensel Oil and LP. Now's the time to think about your energy needs. And, uh, of course, uh, there you have the colors of the United States uh, being in front of the parade. And, of course, we have the Northeast Iowa Shriners on hand, the clowns. And they always put on uh, a, lot, a lot of entertainment. Uh, you got to give them a lot of room, though. One of them almost ran me over. But anyway, uh, we're going to have uh, Dean Lichty coming up here in a little bit. But right now, we're going to talk with uh, these four guys. We'll find out who you guys are. I'm Grace Wilson. What? what? Grace Wilson. Okay. I'm Cole Minnie. All right. Aiden Adelick. Kaylin. <laughs> How, how's the candy? It's awesome. You're getting a lot of it? Yes. All right. Do you like the parade? Are you all from yes. Fresco, all you guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What, what, uh, what do you like best about the parade? Get the ladies. Mandates. Mainly the candy, right? Yeah, band-aids are pretty good. Alright. Be here again next year? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, thanks a lot for talking. Well, That's Bud McCarville back there with Dean Lichty. Here's Dean. Alright, talking with Dean. He was the MC for the parade. And, and uh, how would you compare this year's parade, Dean, with, uh, with ones you've seen in the past? Uh, it was an excellent parade, Randy. We had over 55 entries and a beautiful day. Uh, just a lot of people excited to be here in Cresco and uh, looking forward to all the festivities uh, throughout the weekend. It, it really was a good parade, a good variety. Yeah, there was there was a, no horses to clean up after. Well, that's always a good thing. Of course, <laughs> you don't want them at the beginning, you want them at the end, or not at right. the middle. So. If you were going to have them. Yeah. But, uh, Beautiful weather. Can you remember a fest when it's been better than this weekend? I think this is one of the yeah, best. This yeah. is one of the best. An ideal temperature, nice breeze, beautiful sunshine. This is what Northeast Iowa is all about. We're proud to be right, here and, and right. proud of what uh, Norma Borlaug did for agriculture in the world and, and stopping hunger in different locations. And, uh, what a great fest. Well, well, it is, and we could almost call you Mr. Cresco because you're, you're everywhere all over this event. And, and, uh, but anyway, what, what does this really mean for Cresco? Uh, not uh, for long so much, but for this, this event. I think it's our heritage. You know, we are a farming community. I mean, that's what this town is all about is, I mean, basically without the farmers, we wouldn't be here. And right. uh, we, need to, we need to respect what they do and, re and uh, the hard work they put in. The, uh, 24 7 hour days they have come right. to harvest and, uh, and it hasn't been an easy year because of the you know the drought conditions and we just really need to we need to thank them and a lot of people don't realize when you go buy a burger at A&W where it comes from and what it takes to get it there and that's because of the guys right here in Northeast Iowa guys and women so I'm gonna put you on the spot here a little bit what's your favorite thing about the Norman Borlaug Harvest Fest I like the parade. Yeah, okay. I like the old a antique tractors. You know, my dad being a mechanic, right. and restored many of them that you've seen here today, and uh, they, they look better today than they probably off the manufactured plant uh, 50 years ago. All so right. amazing, amazing tractors, vintage tractors. So. This is Kyle with Fensel Oil and LP Company, letting you know that we are here to serve your propane gas, diesel, and gasoline needs. We offer sales and rentals of LP tanks, contracting, budget billing, and automatic filling to avoid inconvenient out-of-gas situations. Fensel Oil would like to remind customers that you must be properly trained technician to make modifications to any gas system. Please call us if you need any changes to your gas system. 
Contact us at 563-569-8205 or visit us on the web at FensilOil.com. Fensil Oil and LP Company, where safety and service are number one. <laughs> 